Academy. Welcome to the first Lion TV broadcast and welcome back to Lead Academy's 10th anniversary 2022-2023 school year. I'm here with my associate Jackson LeMay. Our first item on the agenda is the 10th anniversary Trumpet Jubilee, October 1st, 8 a.m. through 5 p.m. All lead families and the community are invited to attend. Sign up now to participate in the 5K run, the car show, and the basketball 3 on 3 tournament. The whole day will be filled with family fun games, food, and we'll wrap up with a live music concert. Hope everyone enjoyed having a Monday off for Labor Day, but just a reminder that everyone should be in dress uniform on Mondays. Violators will be prosecuted. Speaking of Mondays, let's go to Roper and Linus with what's been going on in assemblies. Monday assemblies have started off with a bang. In upper school assemblies, the student worship leadership team started us off with a time of praise and worship, followed by wisdom from Mr. Lay, who spoke to the 7th through 12th graders. For first through sixth grade, Miss Jones Day had everyone hyped up with a few worship songs. The little lines were taught some biblical lessons by speakers such as Mrs. Moffin, Coach Lyle, and a guest, Dennis Dean. In the world of ag science. Our ag science programs have started the year off like a well fertilized crop. We can see the beginnings of a bountiful future. Classes at the barn are being held daily for all of the students here at Lead Academy. The dynamic duo of Mr. Lambeth and Miss Merritt have taken the reins and are making things happen at a gallop pace. Great things have already happened during this first month of school. Our FFA had a special visitor last week. One of Mr. Lambeth's former students that is now the state vice president of FFA, Lakin Troop. Lakin was able to meet with our upper school FFA chapter, read to Mrs. Miller's kindergarten class, and check out the antique tractor that is part of the restoration grant that our ag department has been awarded. Other events and meetings that are coming up this week in our ag department are FFA officer meeting tomorrow at 7 a.m., FFA parent meeting tomorrow at 5 p.m. in the middle school horsey val practice Friday from 3 to 3.30 as well as next Tuesday at 7 a.m. Hi, I'm Noah. And I'm Claire. We have some awesome student leaders in our school, and many of them are involved in SGA and Beta. Our SGA officers for this year are Noah Harold as president, Brock Nakari as vice president, Charlie Madero as secretary, Shelton Infinger as treasurer, and Naomi Stout as historian. Also in SGA, there are three committees, the Spirit Committee headed by Naomi Stout, the Lion Cup Committee directed by Charlie Madero, and the Community Service Committee led by Brock Nakari. SGA committees meet every Tuesday and Thursday. And special thanks to Mr. Brennan for bravely taking on the task of SGA sponsor. Beta Club consists of our sponsor, Mrs. Frame, Noah Yepes, Claire Powell, Anza Witten, Ainsley Bruner, and Brock McCarr. Already inducted members are currently serving concessions and have a mandatory meeting on September 9th. Newly invited members are being selected and will be notified soon. Beta will hold an induction ceremony on September 23rd for newly selected members. This event will introduce the new members to the mission of Beta, and as they light the candles, they will signify their beginning of the Beta chapter. Now let's check in with Olivia for some special announcements. Hi, I'm Olivia. You may have noticed a sponsorship form come home with your child last week for the Trumpet Jubilee 5K run. If you own a business, work for a business, like to donate to worthy causes, or just want your name on a t-shirt that all the runners will be wearing, then consider being a sponsor for this 5K run. Deadline to be a sponsor is this Friday, September 9th. Also, Chess Club will begin on Wednesday, September 14th. It will be for grades third grade through 12th grade. Students may pick up their permission slip from Mr. O. What special announcements, Olivia? You're welcome. Now let's go to Bella's Sports. Hey Lions, it's Bella. Last week our athletes had a busy week. 
Cross country competed in the Mobile Challenge. Ethan Madero placed third and Malachi Barrow placed fourth. Uh, their first race was last Tuesday where the girls won first place. Serena Taylor placed second and Abigail Prisicini placed third. Our volleyball teams have no games this week, but next week we are booked up. Both teams play Jay High School on Monday at Jay, JV at 5, and Varsity at 6. Next, we play Golf Point Latin on Tuesday, the 13th, away. JV competes at 4.30 and Varsity at 5.30. Our only home game next week is against Central Christian on Thursday, the 15th. JV plays at 4.30 and Varsity at 5.30. Make sure to come support our Lady Lions. Did you see last year's yearbook? It was superb. <laughs> no? Oh well, don't worry. Your parents can purchase you one for $20 tomorrow morning and Friday morning in front of the gym right after you get dropped off for school. Yearbook staff will be out there from 7.30 to 8 a.m. In case of rain, the yearbook staff will be selling the books at the same time in Miss Clark's room in the Nehemiah building. Yay! <laughs> And that's a wrap for this show. See you next week.